Welcome everyone to TechX Media at Zytex 2025. Today we have uh, a personality with us who needs no introduction, Mr. Saraf, who is the founder of uh, Rekta Foundation. Rekta has been a foundation, a platform, a movement, an organization which has brought Urdu back into its life. Urdu itself is not only a language, it is a set of emotions which started as a mean of communication and today we know it as a means of expressing our love, our affinity, not only towards mankind but towards knowledge. So without further ado, Mr. Saraf with us who has uh, taken up this huge task. So Mr. Sanjeev Saraf, can you just run us through briefly around what Rekhta is and how Rekhta conceptualized and came into being? Thank you, sir, for uh, having me here and the chance to speak to your audience. <clears throat> Rekhta was founded in 2013 uh, when uh, I started learning Urdu. So that has always been a passion for me, but I could never read the language, the script. And I was deprived of a lot of uh, material, content, heritage that is available due to lack of the script. So when I started learning Urdu script, I kind of realized that there are millions like who are also deprived of the beauty of Urdu. And to give them a flavor, it was a kind of pet project or a hobby project where I wanted to showcase the works of the major poets, 40 or 50 poets, selected content in three scripts. Urdu, the mother script, Devanagari, which is accessible to a lot more people, and of course, Roman, which is globally accessible. We also get the facility of word meaning because the vocabulary is also a challenge for a lot of people. It was a small project, but as was to happen, Providence decreed that it became so popular, there was such a large onrush of love and affection and demand that from that day onwards, we've not been able to and not wanted to kind of stop what we were doing. From 2013 January till date, we have the works instead of 50 poets, over five, five and a half thousand poets. We started with poetry, now it has gone on to prose. Uh, then we realized that the, there's a lot of literature which is in books lying locked in libraries, universities, personal collections which needed to be preserved. We started a preservation project and Alhamdulillah, we have been able to uh, digitize till date over 300,000 books. They are available online, freely. And that, I think, has become the core objective of Rekha, uh, Rekhta to cover anything and everything to do with Urdu literature. We don't do religion, we don't do politics. Our focus is Urdu literature, poetry, prose, art forms. Urdu adab se mutalik jitne asnaf hain. Hum sabhi ko rekhta mein preserve karne ke liye hamari koshish jari. So rekhta, then we also felt that uh, Urdu is too rich to be limited to a two-dimensional uh, exposition. The language lends itself to the highest number of art forms of any language. Whether it be ghazal singing, dastan goi, drama, films, marsiya goi, kawali. So it should be not only read, but also lived, experienced, felt tasted a lot of cuisines influenced by the Urdu culture Lucknow 
टेक्नोलॉजी हेल्प रिवाइव समथिंग विच वॉज uh almost getting diminished because as a language the younger generation was deprived of uh, learning it was only the love which uh, personally i felt was revived first time when uh, gulzar saab made uh, mirza ghalib the serial that all of a sudden uh, gulzar saab jagjit singh uh, revived that love for the language so how has technology helped rehta preserve safe and how it's uh, helping you go forward i think in terms of what has kept urdu alive in the public uh, mind mind space okay. you have to give credit to the films in india forget the partition in 1947 all that the entire thing was one subcontinent undivided Hindustan, you might call it, and the film industry has really been at the core of keeping Urdu alive and popular. People do not realize, by and large, that it was Hindi films were Hindi in name. They were really Urdu. The dialogue was Urdu. The story writers were Urdu. The songs were lyrics were Urdu. the musicians were from urdu backgrounds so that is what kept it alive but it was only in that popular genre of music entertainment movies gulzar saab javed saab jagjit singh all these people are have done an amazing contribution to urdu by getting more and more people interested in but the literary part of urdu was still behind a sort of say a wall of inaccessibility sure. so our intention was to be beyond what is commonly known there's so much of it it should come out Excellent. that was the origin of rekta and as to your question on technology and the role of technology it has been possible only because of technology without technology it was not possible because so that enabled us to use a platform a medium which was accessible globally 24/7 no visas no boundaries no limitations on access unlike a book which once published the next edition if it comes when it comes this can be constantly updated it's only possible in this medium can add features only in this medium for example we are apart from the website and we are also using technology now for education purpose we are teaching one okay one way classes two way classes video that's another big one and now we have started using ai as well ai is the latest uh, thing and i think we are already working trying to use ai tools that are available uh, to give the user far richer experience and expand the reach uh, the breadth and the depth of what we serve so ai is a huge and what is interesting is ai typically is used for various other applications business information so on so forth 
So I think we are one of the few unique places where literature, language, culture is deploying yeah, for new audiences, totally new audiences. So that I think is somewhat uh, a kind of pioneering effort that we are doing. Let's see where it takes us. We wish you all the very best. And uh, thanks a lot for spending some time with us that our audience could know about what Rekhta is exactly the mothership. It's not only about Jashne Rekhta, which we at Dubai enjoy wholeheartedly. We have a lot of friends and family who travel to Dubai just to be there uh, and experience that. And we, from the heart, thank you a lot it for is, your efforts. It is because of the affection and love for from all our audiences whether it be at the festival or of the website that gives us the courage and the ability to kind of keep going forward. Thank you. We are you. always there to energize it in all format ways. So thanks a lot Mr. Sanjeev Saraf for Thank the time you. spent at that.